Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Colin Kaepernick has created a legacy for himself that he will never live down, causing mass devastation in the NFL far beyond his personal affliction of not being signed by a team as of yet. Droves of other players carelessly followed his lead by kneeling for the national anthem, despite the negative effect it's had on the entire industry. Kaepernick essentially killed the NFL and doesn't care as he feels entitled to a place on a team in the league that can't get people to watch because of him. However, his relentless pursuit of getting signed seems to have paid off as another team now has a sincere interest in him for a sick reason. Rather than accepting that his inability to get a job is entirely because of his own actions and lack of performance on the field, Kaepernick has blamed racism and even the President of the United States for his demise. He got an attorney to help bully his way back into the league he destroyed and seems to be getting his way. It might be too late for Kaepernick even if he does start to play because nobody is around to watch and sponsors are dropping like flies. However, one team seems to have specific interest in what he can do for them that will ruin the NFL's chances of ever returning to their former glory. Numerous teams have intentionally passed over Kaepernick this season out of principle and for knowing the cancer that he is to a franchise. However, the Houston Texans have just announced they are taking a close look at signing him. Head coach Bill O'Brien confirmed Monday that his team talked about the possibility of signing Colin Kaepernick after Deshaun Watson was lost for the season, but emphasized it was part of the team's usual discussions about available free agents, the score reported. It's the call he's been waiting for four months, but he shouldn't be too excited about it, considering the reason for their sudden interest in him. Despite Pernick and his attorney seeing this as a win for them against everyone boycotting because of him, the Texans aren't interested in him because they side with his argument. Everybody gets discussed, O'Brien said, according to Aaron Wilson of the Houston Chronicle, the score reported. Is that a problem? Don't most teams do it like that? We talk about the roster and what's out there every day, general manager, Rick, Smith, and I, O'Brien added. Colin Kaepernick is a good football player, hasn't played in a while. These things are going to continue to be discussed. O'Brien also said he expects Tom Savage to remain the starter for Week 10 despite the terrible performance and Sunday's loss to the Indianapolis Colts. The quarterback was 9 for 28 passing for 96 yards in the first half and end of the game with a 43.2% completion percentage and an average of 5 yards per attempt. Right now, I do expect him to be the starter, O'Brien said. We've got to get Tom playing better. I think he has the ability to play better. The team's defiant response and defense in signing him has made their allegiance known that they don't care about America, the anthem, the flag, or the principle of standing up for any of those things. In fact, they don't even seem to care about the league failing since bringing Pernick back would be the final nail in the NFL's coffin. It's astounding that with all the empty seats, unprecedented plummet in ratings, major sponsors pulling funds from the NFL, and every other kind of follow, that many in the league still refuse to reverse this crash course they are on. Looking at bringing Pernick back is like inviting the man to dinner who burned down your home and giving him whatever is left of your property. He needs to accept what he has done to this sport that was America's favorite pastime but has now become a national disgrace. He killed the league and now the team considering signing him is willing to do so at the imminent risk of pissing off proud Texans who have supported their team for years. Any possible playing asset that Pernick could bring to the team is no comparison to the detriment he would undoubtedly cause. By considering him having any kind of role, even if just as a water boy or bench warmer, it's a slap in the face to every American who wants to see the NFL do the right thing, but continues to disappoint. At this rate, it doesn't seem possible for football to ever be the same, certainly not for the rest of this season and likely not the next. I hope that if the Texans sign him, they feel good about the message they are sending in doing so, doing so.